This is a prime example of why shelves fall down. Let me see the plugs. They were just holding into the plaster. I was surprised it lasted this long. I didn't put this up by the way. So I'll fix this. And I'll show you what you need to do to put the plugs in. Putting up a shelf is fairly simple, it's the fixing into the wall. I can't get this wire out. It's there. It's all been glued in. So I can't take that out. So what I'm going to do is try and drill his holes, re-drill the holes. And hopefully they're not on a brick line. Ideally you want to drill into the red brick, not the mortar between. When you drill you get red muck out. If you drill that bit you get grey and it's always softer. See what I can find there. I just took this screw out that was in the bottom there. Look at the size of it. You won't even consider using that size screw for this shelf. Red plugs are alright. Idiot. So I guess the question is what size screw do you need? I'm going to go for 50mm 4.5s. I might have to open those holes up a little bit. But what you want is the thickness of whatever you're putting on the wall. The thickness of the plaster. And the thickness of the plug. Show you over there a bit better. So imagine you're putting a piece on the wall, so thick, and you've got half inch of plaster. That's what I work on anyway. You never know till you drill into it. That's about 40 mil. And the length of a plug that's just over 30 mil. So 30 mil in the wall. Half inch of plaster, that's 40. And I'm only putting a little skinny bracket on. So I'm sort of ignoring that in almost. So that, that, and a bit of plaster. Open them holes up a little bit. I'll leave them at the back a little awkward. So, what I'm going to do is try and get another screw. When I drill the wall, I'm going to try and drill it at that sort of angle. That'll also give it greater strength. Two holes straight together will pull out. But ones like that work like a dovetail. Plus two going straight in. It's hard to stop them going into the same one. I'm going to drill into that and see what I can find. Might be on the mortar line like I was saying. Yeah, that's grey muck coming out of there. You see grey on the tip. That means it's right on the mortar line. No wonder he couldn't get a good fixing. So I'm going to either come up or go down. She don't want much patching up, so if I go up, that'll be exposed. But if I come down, that'll be exposed. I think I'm going to go up. So I'll lift the shelf up, mark it again. I can see from that that there's a decent red brick there. So like I say, at the moment it's it's like that. I'm going to go up and hopefully get a decent brick. I decided to chisel a bit of this out, see where the brick line is. You can see it there. Chisel. One of the old knackered screwdrivers. You see the brick line there. Sods all that, but he should have known that when he drilled it. I'll show you. I'm going to come up to about here. 
you don't want to be right on the edge of a brick because that'll crack off you want to come I don't know, 20 mil at least in so he's got some level lines on so I think I'll just work to his level line and go 10 15 mil above there you want to drill gently through the plaster so they don't go bleh just gently through till you hit something solid then give it some armour into the brickwork and you'll see red mud coming out rather than this grey stuff from the joint see the red mud coming out Right, see that bottom one? It's not as red as those ones up there, it's a bit red brown when it came out. Which I suspect is probably close. Put it on widescreen. Which I suspect is probably close to the second brick line here. But it was quite firm. And those ones, this shelf's, you know, it's wanting to fall off the wall like that. So this one, you know, has almost been pushed in. So these top ones are important. Because they're, you know, they're pulling out like that. So what I'm going to do is put one of these screws in. Put the shelf on the wall. Put my level on. And then mark that one. And one thing about putting shelves up is you've got to kick over the cat's water bowl. Yeah, that's yours. So, put your plug in, put your screw on, and then tap it past the plaster into the brickwork. And you want sticking out about the amount of plug that you've got. The length of the plug. I'm going to take this back out and put it in there. So I've got one screwing up there. I've got it level. And I'm just holding it at this end. So now I mark those. Take that screw back out. Take the shelf off. Drill those, and then I can put it back up. You see that's tight up there. The shelf's leaning forward. Don't know what's going on there. You could of course just level across, fix your brackets to the wall, put your shelf on. But I can't get the shelf off because of the wire.
right, you only need to drill the sort of plug depth plus a little bit because your screw will come through. I like to drill just a little bit more because it's not worse than having to re-drill the holes again. So I'll get this mounted to see what it looks like. I'm not going to tap this plug in. I'm just going to sit them in like that. Because when I come to lift the shelf up it'd be easier to get my screws in the holes. Right, so it's screwed on. I put the screw in the plug and tapped it into the brickwork before I started tightening it up. But the shelf's twisted. Quite badly twisted. I think it's just a piece of scaffold board that's been planed. Or maybe even just sanded. Anyway, see what they think. Bit of filling to do under there. 